What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Bloomberg has come out and said that they believe that the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL will be unveiled October 9th at a media event in New York City. So if you're looking to get the new Pixel phone and learn exactly everything about it, even though a lot of stuff has already been leaked out because of the Russians basically getting this phone in hand and doing unboxings and showing us wired Pixel Buds and the 6.7 inch display and basically, again, everything about this phone, you're still gonna be in good hands. And so it looks like October 9th will be the launch date of this. And then from there, it's probably maybe the same day they'll do the pre-order. I think they did that last year anyway. Uh, and then after that, you'd probably look at a week or two after that, that the phone would actually be in your hand. Next up, Apple leaker Ming-Chi Ku and also Bloomberg again have come out and said that Apple, their new iPhone, the 2018 phones, the 5.8, the 6.1, and the 6.5 will not support the Apple Pencil. So Samsung's Galaxy Note will still have that advantage over the Apple phones. The other interesting thing is Bloomberg released what the phone's basically going to have for specs. And we kind of reiterates what we've already seen, but we'll go through it again. So all the phones will have an A12 processor. Uh, the resolution on the phones you can see is slightly different across the board with the 6.1 having the lowest resolution out of all of them. RAM, all the phones have four gigabytes except for the 6.1, which is not to be uh, too shocking because it has three gigabytes and it's gonna be the lower end phone. Uh, all the phones will at least have 64 gigabytes of storage. 256 and 512, again, the LCD one will not have 512, but you can at least get 512 gigabytes on the new iPhones. Um, SIM card slots, depending upon where you, where you live, you can up get up to two SIM slots, uh, so you can have a dual SIM on the 6.5 in some areas. Looks like it's gonna be Asian countries. Face ID for all of them with notch. Rear camera is dual 12 megapixel cameras with optical image stabilization. Um, you're also getting stainless steel design, aluminum on the 6.1. Casing colors, you're gonna get three, three or five. On the LCD, you'll get more colors. And then the big thing is price, what you'll end up paying, or at least these are start off prices. So anywhere between 900 to $999 on the 6.5, which is, that's pretty low, um, especially for a, or such a big display, but that most likely would be the 64 inch. 64 gig version, uh, the 5.8 will be 800 to 899, and then you see that 6.1 will be 600 to 699, I think that one's gonna be obviously one of the big sellers of this year's iPhones. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10 phones, and as you know or didn't know, there's gonna be three versions of this phone with the largest one having basically everything you could possibly want. The big news coming out today is that all three versions of this phone are going to have some form of fingerprint underneath the display. Um, the cheapest one will have optical, whereas the other two, the middle one and the most expensive one, will have ultrasonic. Ultrasonic's gonna be faster, more accurate. So if you're gonna want the best fingerprint sensor underneath the display, you're gonna wanna get the middle one or the larger one. But this is very, very exciting news. Why? Because this is exciting technology. This isn't in every phone like, you know, uh, just a plain old fingerprint sensor is or a camera is. This is only in, you know, some Chinese phones. That's basically it. This is going to be in the next Samsung Galaxy S10 line of phones. Again, bad ass excited about this. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. A question out to you guys is, are you buying the Galaxy S10? And which version are you buying? I'm definitely gonna get it. It's, I got it. I always get the new Samsung phones, at least the flagship one. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited about that end display fingerprint sensor. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Oh yeah, one other thing. Thank you so much. You guys got me to 50,000 subscribers. I started this channel about three years ago and it's been a great uh, amount of uh, fun and I would call it success. I mean, it's a very pollute, not polluted, <laughs> flooded market of YouTubers and videos out there. And it's kind of hard to make a name for yourself. And slowly we're getting there. Um, it's a great, great thing for the channel. It's I'm super impressed um, with everybody supporting the channel. And I thank you so much. If you've been part of that success, you must be because you're watching the video. So thanks guys. I'm super uh, honored to meet that plateau. It's been amazing. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.